So I guess I'll just start. Ooh, I my, um, my grandma took care of me my whole life, and she, she wasn't only my grandma, but she was one of my best friends. Um, we had so many adventures over the years with my grandpa. We they took me on trips all over uh, Niagara Falls and South Dakota. Um, just so many good memories from, you know, sitting in church and her singing me those little pink wintergreen lozenges. I don't even know if you can buy those anymore, <laughs> but um, just at the house, playing in the pool. I mean, they loved their their grandkids. My grandma loved her grandkids, and um, I feel so fortunate that she was able to know my son and be very close with him. Um, I wish my grandpa could have met him. Um, but about four years ago, it got to a point where she couldn't be at home alone anymore. And so the decision was made, and she was a part of it, that she would come up to Boyne City um, to where she could have some extra care and, and be close to me. And I remember the day that we had that conversation, she looked at me and she said, why would you want to do that? You're so busy. Why would you want me to come up there? I, aren't I going to be a burden? And I said, Grandma, you took care of me your, your whole life. Let me do this. Let me be there for you. And, um, you know, the last four years has been a blessing. It's been an honor for me to be able to share a relationship with her that's so close as an adult. Um, for her to know my son and uh, you know we would visit all the time at least a couple times a week um Lisa and i we, we could ride our bikes right to the brook and you know spend time with her and and she enjoyed those visits every time when i would leave her memory wasn't as good but she would always say i would always say grandma i'll be back i'll be back in a day or two and she'd say you promise um and we were there with her. She was surrounded by love in her last few days. Um, we had Cassidy on FaceTime and, and we were there the whole time for the whole three days of her passing. And she, all, she, she could barely speak at points, but she would always, when Elise, my son, would come into the room, she would open her, he would say, hi, Gigi, that's what he called her. She would open her eyes and somehow she would muster a smile and she would say, I love you. And that was the only time she spoke for about three days, but it was the most magical, wonderful blessing for us to be able to say goodbye. Um, and she made me promise her that I would sing her this song. Um, she loved, this was one of her favorite songs.